Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, Accidental Beauty. If you're new, welcome. My name is Laura. I'm a self-taught makeup enthusiast who is just trying to figure out how to do my hair because I like can't seem to figure out how to style it nicely. So I'm just kind of experimenting with a bunch of different products, a bunch of different styling tools, and just trying to find what works best for me and my hair. So today I'm gonna to be trying out the Bumble and Bumble Surf Spray. It's a salt spray. I just got a mini. I think I got this as a sample, uh, like a deluxe size sample from Sephora, if I remember correctly. This is also the first time that I'm trying out a Bumble and Bumble product, I think. No, maybe I tried out a shampoo and conditioner a while ago, but anyways. So we'll see if my hair likes salt sprays. I have a feeling it will because my hair actually behaves the best whenever I'm in uh, like a chlorine pool, uh, or if I like swim in the ocean or something, my hair always looks perfect after. So I have high hopes for this. So if you guys wanna see my thoughts, first impressions, all of that, then please keep on watching. I just wet my hair because I was just reading the instructions because there are no actual instructions on here. So I had to go on the Sephora site. So first of all, let's talk about the product. It's a salt water based styling spray that adds texture, volume, and hold for matte waves that mimic a fresh off the beach look. It says it's suited for straight and wavy hair. So I've got like kind of wavy to curly hair naturally. Hair texture, fine and medium. So I've got kind of fine hair. It, the hair concerns are hold and volumizing, which is what I'm looking for, and it says that it's a spray formulation. It's free of parabens, formaldehydes, phthalates, and mineral oil. It's cruelty-free, works well with healthy, moderately coarse hair, okay? Uh, and let's talk about how to use it. So it says, shake well, spray evenly into damp or dry hair from roots to ends, and add more if desired. You squeeze and twist strands to enhance texture, air dry or diffuse. And then a pro tip to add polish, use a brush to blow dry the hair smooth. For a windswept look, use your fingers to style and blow dry. Okay, so I didn't expect to have to blow dry this, but that's fine. So I'm just gonna give it a shake. And okay, let's test this out. So we'll start at, ow, oh, we'll start at the roots has an interesting smell. I don't love the smell, personally. I don't really know how much I'm supposed to use also, so I'm just kind of like scrunching it in. It's like perfumed a little bit, but I don't, I don't really love the smell. Oh, I should add that I've got like a little bit of dry shampoo in my hair and a little bit of like sort of moisturizing, uh, strengthening like oils and stuff. I think I just swallowed some. I feel like it's adding a bit of texture. And then I guess I'll just diffuse it just to kind of like, let's just add a little bit more in front. Um, and then I guess I'll just diffuse it just to kind of like lock in the uh, style or whatever. So I don't know if you can see because I brilliantly wore a <laughs> dark top. Okay, hold on, let's see if we can. Okay, there, I'm trying to get like, maybe let's turn up my light so you can really, okay, now you can see my hair. So check out that texture. I am super thrilled with this. I think I probably could have put a little bit more towards my roots uh, or maybe just use like a different volumizing product because my roots look kind of flat and then I've got like all this volume. Like I know it doesn't look like much, but for me, this is like, this is how I want my hair to look on a regular basis. Like we got some of my curls forming, waves. We got like kind of beachy waves, which is like, naturally what my hair does. And then I find just my hair has a problem holding the style throughout the day. And I haven't been able to find a product that maintains that style. Cause like I'll come out of the shower, I'll put in like a mousse or some sort of like curl cream or something. And it'll look great for a little bit. And then maybe I just add too much product or just like, you know, I go outside and then the wind just like completely ruins my hair. It ends up looking stringy or it just ends up looking flat. Like I just lose all of the definition and texture. So I haven't been able to find like my hero product for my hair. So far, this one's really nice. It doesn't feel heavy. My hair is still a little wet. I didn't just did a quick job diffusing it, but Wow, this looks really, really nice. So I'm gonna definitely try this out because I'm filming this at like 11 o'clock at night. So I'm curious to see if it's able to keep the style tomorrow. Really the big test for this is to see 
how it looks after going outside, especially after putting on my coat. My major problem in winter is it's so dry and my coat gets so staticky. Um, and the fact that I'm you know, wearing a scarf and sometimes a hat that it just, it flattens my hair completely. Even like in uh, like springtime when it's super, super windy, the wind just completely destroys my hair. Uh, it flattens everything. Like even if I put like hairspray or whatever, I go outside for 10 minutes and it <laughs> like any kind of like curl or definition that I had in my hair, it just flattens it like the hairspray or whatever styling product I put in my hair just ends up making my hair look flat and stringy. Like my hair looks greasy, even if it's, you know, freshly washed or like on day two hair, it just, it looks awful. So I was thinking maybe instead of adding sort of like more uh, like mousse or something more sort of like oily hydrating, maybe if I go in the opposite direction, if I use a salt spray that might be a little bit drying on my hair, maybe that might help hold the definition. Because as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, whenever, I know that's like sort of a short-term thing, it's not like a daily thing that I do, but you know, if I go into like a chlorine pool, if I go to the beach in the ocean, my hair just ends up looking so nice. Like even when I use uh, products with like drying alcohols, like I'm just thinking, for example, head and shoulders, like my hair actually ends up looking really, really nice after. Again, I'm not doing that all the time, but it seems to, my hair seems to like it. I don't know why, but my hair seems to like it. So let's try this out. Let's see how this works. But so far, first impressions, I give this a five out of five. I'm so happy. My hair doesn't feel dried out. It feels not even like crunchy. It does feel like I have some product in it, but it doesn't feel crunchy. It doesn't feel dried out. It doesn't feel dehydrated. So first impressions, I love this, but let's see how this works kind of long-term. So I'm gonna check in later, uh, once I've kind of tried this out for a little bit, see also the longevity, see if it keeps the style when I sleep. Uh, and then I will talk about my final thoughts at the end of the video. So I just took my hair out of a ponytail. I was wearing it in a ponytail pretty much from when I went to bed last night until now. <laughs> uh, so I haven't touched it at all. And um, I know like, I know my hair looks very, very messy right now, but actually I've still got the texture. Like, I mean, yeah, it's, it's an absolute mess. So like, I'd probably just kind of like, you know, comb through it. I probably have to restyle it. So I'm really happy to see that the texture and sort of like, not volume, but like bounce is still there. I don't have like any of that at my roots. So I'd probably, either use this or a uh, root spray or even just like a dry shampoo or something but uh cool to see that we've still got some of that texture look at that look at that look at that that bounce uh yeah so that's really great to see that the bounce is still there i went out and did grocery shopping today i was wearing like a scarf and everything it was all bundled up and it didn't seem to flatten my hair like at the ends too much that's often where i i mean like dry weather seems to flatten my hair, like regardless, like top to bottom, but definitely like towards the ends, that's where I find like, it just gets like stringy and just, it doesn't look nice. So even though like my hair, <laughs> my hair looks messy right now, I'm just gonna put it back up. Anyways, glad to see that even though it looks like messy, I haven't lost the texture and the waves and like some of my curls are still there. So that's really good to see. Long story short, it, still keep some of that texture overnight. So there is some of that longevity, even if it doesn't hold the style. So I would have to probably just restyle it if I was, you know, gonna go a week, let's say, without washing my hair, I'd still probably have to restyle it every day. Uh, but it's nice to see that there is something that you're still working with, if that makes sense. Uh, just noticed something really cute on the side of the package. It says making waves since 2001. That is adorable. I think I would give this product a solid four and a half out of five. Just taking off half a point because it would have been awesome if it like kept my style intact. Honestly, I didn't expect it to do that, but it would have been really, really awesome if it did. But I think this is a really great product. I'm definitely going to continue using this and I probably... I'm, I'm highly considering purchasing the full size because I think this is really, really good. And also I didn't really need to too much and it was just really easy to use. So I can't recommend this enough.